Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, I'd like to welcome you to Friday, the ninth day of August 2024. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is God First Mentality, the key to supernatural provisions. The Bible says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. But for the day, when you seek God first, all other things will seek you. Now it has been established that when the principles of God are followed, the resources of God flow. The question then is, what principles should one follow in order to experience the provisions of God? We shall look at one of these principles in our study today, and that is the God first living. The God's first living is the first principle responsible for supernatural provisions. If a man or a woman will experience the supplies of God, God must be first in their lives. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Abraham sought God first. He sought God first in prayer. As he prayed first thing in the morning, every day, you see that in Genesis chapter 19, verse 27, which says, And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. When Abraham woke up in the morning, the first person he sought after was God. David also sought God first. In Psalm 27, verse 4, David said, One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. David desired one thing, and that was to seek after God. He did not desire two things or three things. He desired just one thing, seeking after the Lord. David seemed to have said, I'm not looking for money. I'm not looking for fame. I'm looking for God. I want to dwell in his house all the days of my life. Beloved, the God first mentality is responsible for supernatural provisions. When you seek God first, all other things will seek you. The omission of God is in the priority of people's lives is a major reason for dryness of their hands financially. So beloved, our counsel to you today is seek God and all other things shall be added unto you. Remember this, when you seek God, all other things will seek you. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to seek God first above all things. And secondly, give your relationship with God the topmost priority. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say, Lord, I receive the grace to seek you first above all things. Help me to give the topmost priority to my relationship with you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm happy. I know that as we make a decision to seek God first in all that we do, that God will glorify himself in our lives, in Jesus' name. Let's go right ahead, go to our Bible reading today, and then I also want to pray for somebody who wants to now turn your life to Jesus, to seek him first and seek him only. You want to put away tobacco smoking, alcoholism, Indian hemp, cocaine addiction. You want to put away pornography and put away immorality and put away lifestyles that are negative in, 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 and then seek God with your whole life. Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner, I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Congratulations. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus and cause his face to shine on you. Help you to be everything that God wants you to be. In Jesus' name. And it's your birthday today. I wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.